Good evening, everyone. This is Adam Schomer, and welcome to our uh, Wednesday evening meditation. Um, sweet. Just let us know where you're joining in from. That way I can make sure Instagram's working here. It's coming live from the Heel headquarters. You might have seen some of this from Kelly's podcast, this background. So I'm in the Heel headquarters today. And again, my name is Adam Schomer, producer of Heel. And every Wednesday we do pranayama and meditation. Prana, energy, yama, pranayama, alignment of energy, which is wonderful. It affects the thoughts, then it affects the body. And, you know, we call it breath work, but the, the pranayama is really using the breath to communicate to the body. Hi from Australia. Hi, Jim. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Dakota from Princeton. Good. Ohio is Jehova. So we'll start in a, a couple minutes and we'll do a, a meditation and breath work for light, for inviting in some light here in the, the new year. I've, I've probably been on already in the new year, but I mean, 24 is just flying by. Okay. Tuning it. Uh, that's already an old joke in 24 uh from where let's see montreal amazing fort lauderdale uh calgary canada amazing and i'm here in well at the moment it's beverly hills so los angeles normally i'm in santa monica but the heel headquarters here in beverly hills uh so yeah again let us know where you're joining in from today we'll be with working with light so in general the pranayamas will help um invite energy and light in and so we'll do the breath of light, we'll do the cosmic breath, and I might even do shuka shunya with you guys. So let me let me actually explain shuka shunya breath because it can be a little complicated for some people. Um, shuka shunya is the name of the pranayama. And what it is is we alternate inhales through nose, mouth. So this would be inhale, 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 inhale. So it's a total of eight inhales. Inhale, 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 inhale. That makes one full breath, alternating nose to mouth. <laughs> then we'll be pausing the breath, and then we'll be exhaling in a similar ma manner. Exhale nose, exhale mouth, exhale nose. <laughs> to make eight total, okay? You can think of it as four sets of two, you know? if you want, meaning four sets of. Okay, so that's Shukra Shunya. I wanted to explain that up front. <clears throat> so when we're doing it and we're more in the meditation, it's not so much uh, confusion, if you will. Okay, so that'll be the first pranayama we do. Good, hello from Pan Panama, Dakota, and everyone else that's normally here. We probably haven't done Shukra Shunya before or maybe once in the last few years, so. It's a nice new one. Happy New Year, Marga. Good to see everybody. Go ahead. Let's close the eyes. <clears throat> and uh, you want to be in a nice seated position, laying down. Doesn't work so well for this one. So seated on a cushion or seated in a chair. Nice tall spine. And um, good. Good. As we always start, let's include... In our awareness, the sensations all right meaning yeah all the bodily sensations also include sounds in your area all right so we're not seeking freedom and not having sensations or no sound at all it's almost impossible so include the sound, include the body, and also include in our awareness, include thoughts and feelings, whatever's maybe just with you from the day. And also including the earth in our awareness, include the air in the awareness, and include the sun. And also include in the awareness prana, meaning this life force, consciousness. Yeah, there's some awareness that, oh my gosh, there's life force, something that's keeping us all alive and awake. 
And then from there, with that connection to the prana, that awareness of the prana, let's go into that shuka shunya breath, that alternating breath. So it's inhale through the nose, inhale through the mouth, in nose, in mouth, in nose, in mouth, in nose, in mouth. It's a total of eight inhales. Then pause the breath. The attention comes to the third eye. That's the forehead between the eyes. And we exhale in that same alternating manner. Exhale, nose, exhale, mouth, exhale, nose, mouth, nose, mouth, nose, mouth. Pause the breath again. And then repeat. So inhale eight times, alternating. Pause the breath. And then exhale. That alternating. Hold the breath out for a moment and then repeat. At your own pace, we go for a few minutes. Shuka Shunya really clears the mind, really stops the stories and the patterns. Keep it going another couple minutes. If thoughts come, no problem. Just become aware of them and smile. Enjoy the awareness. When we become aware of the thinking, that's the positive thing. We become aware. And then back to the breath. This breath also, because it's challenging, tends to silence the mind a little bit more because we have to focus on the breath. You know? Keep it going. more times. And release and just check in. Breathe normally, just notice any shift. Next one takes a little bit of effort as well. When we're inviting in the light, you know, we like to really create some space and live in the energy. So cosmic breath three. Again, not laying down. So be sitting up just in case you're laying down. So it's a deep inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. Exhale as much as you can. Empty the breath. No pause at all. Once you've emptied, inhale through the mouth. And exhale through the nose. So it's a U-shaped breath. Inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Keep it going. You can move your spine as you're doing this because we're really opening the lungs, enlivening the energy. For 
invigorating the cells with oxygen, with prana. Keep it going, it takes a little bit of effort, as I said, so it's not always calming, but we wanna do this to really enliven the cells, increase the oxygen. You just practice with all your focus. If you catch the thoughts, no problem. Reinforce the awareness and come back. Just one more minute. Be forewarned, I love the Cosmic Breath 3, so I just enjoy doing it. Opens up the lungs as well. Good, take one more inhale and then hold the breath. And we'll see if we can hold for a minute. Good, and exhale, breathe normally. Check in. Just notice, notice any shift. Notice any shift and just really this first 10 minutes of practice that quickly. And we'll finish with The breath of light. So the breath of light is seven short inhales through the nose. And then you pause the breath, focus at the third eye, that's the forehead between the eyes. And then one deep exhale through the nose. Again, seven inhales. Pause the breath. And then exhale, we'll go two minutes of this. And really, again, this starts to invite in, allow more light and energy in as we're doing this. If, if possible, the stomach expands a little every inhale. It signals the body to receive, to take in more. Just two minutes like this.
Good, and release the breath, check in, notice. It's also a very pleasing pranayama. It creates a lot of expansion and energy. So while we're in this very nice parasympathetic state, nicely connected to the prana and the whole system is listening and at ease, safe, we can more efficiently and with more power, we can communicate to the whole system, remind the cells and all the particles of the truth. So we say out loud, I am light, I am free. So say that out loud, I am light, I am free, and then take some time to breathe into it, to yeah, allow that command into every cell. Okay, and I am light, I am free. Yeah, and just notice the response. And don't be afraid to let that light in. Yeah. I am light, I am free. This is deserving power, you know. We deserve to let the light in. Even if just for a few minutes, you know. Give yourself a break. Again, I am light, I am free. Say it out loud, breathe into it, allow the light in. Great. One more time. I am light. I am free. Good. Next one. I release resentment. I am free. Not letting go of anything. Any anger, is anything holding us from... Um, it could be against a person, just could be in general. Resenting our circumstances, or etc. I release resentment, I am free. It kind of brings us back to gratitude and allowing to receive. I release resentment, I am free. Again. I release resentment. I am free. Yes. I release resentment. I am free. Yeah, this is important. I don't need to hold this in order to, you know, protect myself. There's nothing really to protect. I release resentment. I am free. And the last one we'll say is, I can be with this, I am free. So that we're reminding ourselves that we can allow it all in. We have the deserving power, we have the strength to allow things to be as they are, which immediately gives us more access and more ability to expand the awareness. We're not fighting for, you know, to change everything or needing it to be a certain way. I can be with this. I am free. Remember, we're, just, we're practicing. Practicing wiring and sending this signal to all the, the whole system. I can be with this. I am free. Like muscle memory, building a muscle that knows we have access to this state of being. I can be with this, I am free. So when our triggers rise up, we have muscle memory. I can be with this, I am free. Hmm? It's not woo-woo, it's just rewiring, taking a little more responsibility for our consciousness. One more time, I can be with this, I am free. Key words, you know, taking responsibility for our own consciousness. So I can be with this. I release resentment. I am the light. And just stay with that for a little while in silence.
And then again, expand this awareness and include the earth, include the air, include the sun, and the great prana, meaning the quantum field, timeless and spaceless field. So much is accessible. Beautiful, beautiful. And then include again the senses and the sounds in your area and maintain this, also this awareness of this subtle prana, of this consciousness. And the eyes can open up. And then, you know, a 20 minute practice, actually just 20 minutes from when we started. So easily enlivening the energy, building that muscle. And if we think of it as a practice, that's really important. Oh, if I practice this kind of thing three times a week, every day, I start to build a muscle, I start to build a, a way to re identify oneself differently than the circumstances or etc. or the stories, you know. And we start to build that other, you know, muscle that is able to be with things. It doesn't mean we won't get triggered, doesn't mean we won't get angry, but... Um, we have this other muscle to maybe bring us back a little quicker. You know, so we don't do things we regret, cause more harm or cause more suffering for ourselves and others. Good, any questions, let me know. Happy to answer the questions. And um, I'll just, if I don't get to the question, any of your questions specifically, I'll put my Instagram in here at i 2 i productions and that way you can always reach out um, I do do similar sessions like this on zoom on some Mondays oops I didn't go in there that's okay but uh, any questions let me know happy to answer this might have froze a little bit who knows who knows if the meditation even broke. <laughs> it was just me alone. This thing was never really even on. I was in a studio just alone, pretending there was people out there. Um, but uh, I'll, try and, I'll try and post my, <laughs> my Instagram. It's not, a, it's not any different. You know? We're alone and we're totally connected. So let me know. Uh, just... Post us something if you're there, so I know people exist, and that this is actually working. Might not be. I just, I, anyway, my comment failed to post. So, okay, any questions, let me know, but it might just be hung up. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see any questions, so I'll leave... I'll leave it this time early, and uh, at least I just can't see anyone's comments for some reason. But again, if you have any messages, just message me at I to I letter I number two letter I Productions. Um, for some reason, the comments aren't working very well. I couldn't post a comment myself, so I can't really see anyone's uh, comments at this point, unless you can. If there's any questions, if you see any that if there are any questions. Uh, for Latina, uh, st stage four cancer, healing, we just send you blessings. We send you absolute blessings. Like, this is a great, this meditation we did is great because you're allowing in light, you know, you're allowing in, you're releasing resentment, releasing anger, which is great, but just allowing energy in and it's a parasympathetic state. So of course, you're allowing, much like the film it Heal is talking about, you're allowing your body to do what it naturally does, which is heal. So even just stay longer in that the silence part at the end just stay in that in that zone for a while if you notice the, the mind comes back okay come back and again say those few mantras dial back into that frequency and then stay for a while another question oh thank you god bless you're so welcome uh beautiful dakota nice to see you this is good anything else good all right cool cool Thankfully, our producer Mo is here as well. Thank you for your guidance. I am free. Exactly, Soto. 
Exactly, exactly. Hey, it's the benefit of being in the studio. The team is around. All right, all right, you guys. So nice to see you. Namaste. I'll be back next Wednesday. That rhymes. And um, yeah, I'll be back next Wednesday. At the end of the month, Lexi will be here with some sound bowls again, and Mark will be there with a the meditation. I'm going to ask him to do a new father meditation since he's a new father. Oh, there is one more question or comment. Let's see. Where? What's the name of the new breath work today? Yes. Elf. Is that Elf Heroes? Mm-hmm. Elf. Elf Heroes. I love that name. Uh, Shuka Shunya was the new one we did first. Shuka Shunya, the alternating inhales and alternating exhales. Shuka Shunya breath. And then where can I get hold of the documentary? Of Heal? If you go to HealDocumentary.com, you can see where you can watch it. So it's on Prime. Um, it's on Gaia. You can rent it on Amazon. You can rent it on iTunes. Uh, so go to HealDocumentary.com. We have a watch tab, and that'll tell you no matter where you are in the world. Uh, we have it in nine languages. And uh, if if it's not in your country per se, for sure Vimeo. The Vimeo will always have it. So Heal Documentary, and then click the watch tab. Uh, wonderful meditation. I have a question on how we can release subconscious fear. What to do when we feel fearful and how to become more faithful. To release subconscious fear, some of the things we were doing right there when we're just resent, releasing resentment, that's part of it. So sometimes you don't even have to know, you know what you're releasing. Um, to me, there's two ways to go about it. If you invite light and start to raise the frequency, naturally there's burn off that happens. You raise your frequency, the things you don't need, the fears and things start to just burn away. You don't even need to know they're going away, but they burn off. The other is, um, so what we were doing is actively doing, burning away some of those subconscious fear by building faith. We were building a awareness or a muscle of a greater, more expanded awareness that wasn't so afraid of me, me, me. It was more inviting the light. It was accepting. It was knowing. So when you start to build a, 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 almost like pointing toward a different sense of self, you strengthen that muscle, the pathways to an old identity start to fall away and subconscious fears just naturally burn away. That's one method. Okay, one way. The other way is you go into it. If you're in meditating and you see things come up, now, of course, at that moment, it's not subconscious, but in a meditative state, sometimes the subconscious comes up and then you actively look at it. What is this? Do you know, uh, why am I resistant to allow light and energy and oh, something is blocking me. What is that something? Oh, what is that? And what is that? And what is that? What's underneath that? What? And to reveal the source, you know, to reveal the source, to inquire. So it's a quick answer for a, a long question, but... Um, and then, of course, there's all these modalities that we talk about on the Heal podcast and in the movie that can help you seek seek others, seek shaman, seek tapping, seek different modalities to help get into the subconscious and rewire. So important. That can be so helpful. All right, one more question. Love that. Raise our vibrations. Um, repatterning the subconscious through the breath, I found I asked myself, what am I breathing life into exactly? Every subconscious, our belief... Or fear has an associated... Uh, I don't think every subconscious belief or fear has an associated pattern per se. Because, you know, there's a lot of beliefs and a lot of thoughts. <laughs> and it's hard to imagine that many belief, breaths. But that's my opinion. You, you can have a different opinion on that. Um, breath is life force behind everything. You know, my, my take on, like I said at the beginning, breath, you know, obviously it's incredibly important without your breath that's the first thing you know to go right you don't breathe for a while you're gone but the breath to me is a communication device to the whole system it helps us communicate to the system and to the energy in a different way than language sometimes more direct so if you use a certain breath pattern it tends to inform the system and communicate to your system in a way that sometimes uh thought or intellectual thought doesn't necessarily do. For some people, jnana yogis, wisdom type yogis, the intellectual thought can really just do it. And as we witnessed here, after we did breath work and we were in a parasympathetic state, we used thought or we used words to then communicate on a deep level. 
Sometimes if the energy is off, you know, the words aren't going to do it. Your friend can say, hey, here's the good advice. You're like, but I still don't feel good. You know? uh, we do the breath work. We work on the energetic level. So, to, you know, to my opinion on it is the breath is really a communication device to the prana, to the energy. All right? Prana is at a level that is beyond the breath. You know, it is subatomic, subatomic level. So more powerful than the breath, but the breath helps us communicate. Pranayama, breath work, energy alignment helps us work with our energetic field, our energetic body. This is um, my view on it, a very yogic perspective on it that you don't necessarily have to share for the pranayamas to work or breath work to work. So that's the good thing. We don't have to all believe the same. Trust your experience. If you do something and it works for you and it's helping you on your path or a framework of looking at something helps you on your path, that's really the key. It's not so much, oh, I believe it, it's the way. See what frameworks are helping you, you know, grow, become a better person, have less fear, release things. This is the key. That way we're not in religious pranayama wars. Okay, what? I'm a totally different person for the better. Mimi, nice to always to see you. Always to see you. Very, very good. Okay. Time to let you all go. All right. Great to see you. Namaste. Until next time.